A Grants Pass couple says they're lucky to be alive after getting stuck on a snowy road for days. The pair had gone for a drive in the mountains as they had many times before, but this time they forgot their chainsaw and they got stuck in a tangle of branches and debris across the road. Tonight, the wife is speaking only to NBC5 News, sharing their story of teamwork and survival. I was beginning to think I was not going to see my birthday today. Patricia New is happy to be back at work after an unexpected three-day weekend. She and her husband, Gene, went for a drive in the mountains Saturday when they got stuck on Upper Grave Creek Road and couldn't get out. This is the first time we did not have a chainsaw. We always have the chainsaw. Despite her 78-year-old husband's efforts to dig them out, the truck wouldn't budge. They had a handful of granola bars and a Dutch Bros coffee cup they filled with snow. But after two days of no cell service... Gene tried walking out as far as he could. ...and no progress... I love you guys so much. Patricia began to lose hope. I thought, well, we might not make it out of here. So I texted all my kids little love goodbye letters. And um, that was really hard. But on Monday, Gene took one more hike to find cell service. And a call finally went through. The phone came on, and it was my daughter, Kathy, from Bend who had been calling 911, got them to ping and everything. A short while later, their son found them, and search and rescue crews weren't far behind. They got us out. And it was a happy story after that. It was rejoicing after that. Yeah. Patricia says she's thankful to the search and rescue crews and grateful to be alive. And as she celebrates her 70th birthday, she's certain she's not only another year older, but another year wiser, too. So from now on, I'm, my one son lives here. Uh, I'm going to text him when we've got, not just if we're driving to the coast, but if we're going up in the mountains, I'm going to text him and say we're going this way and I should be back by whatever time and then text him when we get back and then if we didn't get a text, he'd know there was something wrong. Pretty good idea. Still in very high spirits. If you're heading out, especially in the winter, Search and Rescue reminds you to tell someone where you're headed. Always have supplies on hand and don't rely on your four-wheel drive or your cell phone to get you out of trouble.